Hello students, in this video we'll use the moment generating function to show the sum of exponential distributions which have the same parameter and are independently distributed will add up to a gamma distribution or an Erlang distribution. So let's recall that x is exponential theta if its PDF has the form f of x and theta is 1 over theta e to the negative x over theta for x greater than 0. And these exponential distributions are a subset of a family of other distributions called gamma distributions. And these gamma distributions are defined as follows. So y is a gamma distribution with parameters alpha and theta if its PDF has the form What's the form of the PDF of a gamma? Well, it's going to be 1 over theta to the alpha. And then we're going to have an x to the alpha minus 1, e to the negative x over theta. And then there's a normalizing factor, which is gamma of alpha. Okay, And this is for x greater than 0. Okay, So those are gamma distributions. And we can see in particular that if I plug in x equals uh, alpha equals 1 into this expression, alpha equals 1 will reduce to an exponential distribution. So in particular, it says that gamma of 1 theta is exponential. So gamma of 1 theta, gamma of 1 theta is exponential of theta. Those are the same distribution. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show the sum of n independent exponential distributions adds up to a gamma distribution. So let's find, or recall, recall, that the MGF, mxt, the moment generating function, is the exponential of tx, if x is exponentially distributed. So let's figure this out. It's going to be the integral from 0 to infinity. And then what? And then we're going to have an e to the tx. That's the function we're integrating against the PDF. So then times 1 over theta, and then e to the negative x over theta dx. And so we can combine the exponents over here and pull that 1 over theta outside. But I'm actually going to keep the 1 over theta with the dx. So this is going to be the integral from 0 to infinity, e to the what? e to the x, and then t minus 1 over theta. And then what? And then we're going to have a dx over theta. And so now let's change the variables. I'm going to let u be t minus 1 over theta. Let's let u be this thing over here. So I'll pull out a negative sign actually and turn that into a negative and turn that into a positive. And so we're going to let u be x times 1 over theta minus t. So then du is just what? It's just dx times this quantity over here. 1 minus theta times t. And so now we're going to substitute. So what do we have over here? So now this is going to turn into the integral from 0 to infinity. The limits don't change. And then what we have, well, we have an e to the negative u, e to the negative u. And then um, we'll have a dx over theta. Well, dx over theta is going to be what? Let's do a little bit of manipulation over here. So if I have a, if I put this on the other side, I'll have a du over uh, 1 over theta minus t is equal to dx. So then dx over theta will be this thing times theta, right? Which is going to be a theta, which is going to be a 1 minus theta t. So this is going to be a du over 1 minus, uh, 1 minus theta t, theta t. Okay, And this will just integrate to 1 over 1 minus theta t. 1 over 1 minus theta t. Okay, So that's the moment generating function of an exponential distribution. So if we have n identically distributed copies of an exponential distribution, so if we have x1 plus, plus xn, we'll have mgf. The MGF of the sum of independent random variables is just the product of the MGFs by properties of exponentials. If we were to put a t times x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 all the way up to xn, I could write that as exponential of tx1 times exponential of tx2. So it would be the product of these MGFs. So we're going to have the product 1 over 1 minus theta t times a whole bunch of these things, 1 over 1 minus theta t. And so that's going to be 1 over 1 minus theta t to the power n. And this is exactly the moment generating function of a gamma distribution. So this thing over here is the MGF. This is the MGF of a gamma distribution with n as its parameter and theta as its shape parameter. So what we have is the following now. We have the sum that x1, xn, 
IID exponential theta distributions implies that x1 plus plus xn is gamma n theta. Thank you very much.